Welcome to Emmer and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. Today we're going to start, and hopefully in the next few days, we've got Emmer and Cole both of their haircuts done for Christmas. So I just started on Ember. I've given her a little brush out and I started doing toenails on her front feet, but I'm gonna show you some of Ember's feet and then we'll get Cole in here and we can show you some of Cole. And as I say, Cole is much more furry than Ember. So if you wanna do any stripping or maybe working on his neck and stuff like that, it'll be Cole that we'll use. But Ember's a good little, little helper here. I did the inside of her ears just cause her ears have been getting a little hot and maybe a bit dirty. So I shaved inside. I've been treating her for a little bit of some ear dirt in there, washing them and stuff. So I'd shave this out, but I'm gonna get to her head. But I think I'm gonna bath her first. Excuse me, it'll be much easier on my clippers and it'll, then I can give her the finishing touches so she looks as beautiful as she can because she's already a beautiful girl. Hey, sweetheart, look at your whiskers. You're never this furry. Look at these things. Lots of people do leave them and like them, but because I'm a show dog, she doesn't. And we're used to them in our house not having whiskers. So we like to shave the whiskers and the eyebrows off. And this poof here. I hate this poof. Lots of people love it. In our house, we shave it off. Right now, it, it, she gets made fun of, right? And her tail was too long. I just started shaving her tail here. I just did the underside a little bit, but I've decided to leave some of it to trim um, once she's had her bath. So I've just shaved under here and a little bit down here. And then I'm gonna blend some of this poofs, this nice poof here, in with the thinning scissors. But I'm gonna wait and give her a bath first and then do those. So we'll do some feet now. And then she's gonna have a bath and then we'll finish her up after that. Right, Amber? All right, let's get doing your feet. Good girl. We're gonna trim Amber's toenails. This is just my little toenail clip here. I know my laundry's going, so it might be hard to hear. Uh, hopefully when I do coal, there won't be any, but we'll just start. So I just lift Amber's foot up. I'm gonna look for her toenails. She's had them done recently, so there's not much to cut. Even this one, I'm just gonna do a little bit on an angle upwards so it helps keep her toenails short and they'll, the quick will grow back a little bit every time I do this. These are not bad toenails, but I do like them short. It's easier to make the nice cat paw when your dog's toenails are short. That's what we're just aiming to do here. So a little toenail again, I'm gonna angle backwards, snip. Sometimes I snip the little corners off so they're less sharp. So I'm gonna brush Ember's leg out here with my nice steel comb. Get all the mats out, move some of this excess hair on here. And I'm gonna look for my <clears throat> scissors. I'm gonna have my regular shears and my thinning scissors. I sometimes use my clippers too. I'm probably going to just gonna help with snowballs. I'm gonna clip her out the inside of the pads here. A lot of people do it as well to, um, so you don't cut the dog's foot. I'm always very careful, but It is a good way to help get even more hair out. Ember doesn't love it. I don't do it very much on my dogs. I find I trim them enough that it's not a big deal if I use the scissors. Oh, we'll take a little extra off of that. Okay, you're done with that one. All right, so let's use our scissors. We're gonna clip scissor around the pads here to get inside the pad as well. The tops, get all flat. You can get even around the tip here, the front, because our nails are short enough, I can get this good and tight. with the clippers back in here one more time. I'm get in there just a little bit more. Good girl. Good? Okay. Now I'm going to brush down and I'm gonna take by her little, this little heel part here, this little nubbin here. I'm gonna separate the hair there. I'm gonna pull that part down right to the bottom of her foot here. See, and I'm gonna cut all that off, trim off where my hand is, top to my hand here. Good girl. Thank you. I'm just gonna to try to replace her so you can maybe see a bit better. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna pull this all down. I'm gonna take all of that off. You can do that to however short you want. You can shorten it up more. You can do it in stages. Here, I'm gonna take a little bit more, a little bit shorter here. Okay. 
while I keep shortening as I go. Stop. Let's see. Okay. We can also take them and just round off what isn't even here. I'm just sitting because I can see what I'm doing down here easier than if I was standing. I used to always stand, but now I find it I get a better view when I sit. And I don't have to stand for so long. <laughs> it's helpful for both. And the next thing I'm going to do here is fluff up the toes here. Also going to grab the comb and grab one end and go through just to see a lot of the time from the summer there'll be some knots in there, little toe mats. Doesn't seem to have any here. I must have got them out the last time I did the nails. So I'm going to take this on a downwards angle and I'm going to take the fluff off. It's hard for you to see. Sorry, you can see on this foot that's just how I'm doing it. show you when I'm holding it up. I would be going this way though. And down. But when you're on the ground there, you can see the shape better. That was a lot of floof there, my love. Next thing I'm going to do is bring her paw up and push just under her toenail back. And I'm going to line the hair up right to those toenails. I'm going to trim it right along to those toenails. It's going to help for a nice line for our cat paw. And brush it up again. And then we need to go over and down and take off the poofs around this side. Make another line around your foot and even take in here at, by the toenail, go into the toenail and then right up along the pad to get a nice straight line. Over the toe again, take the little bit of scoop off, round it right in, Close, round the toe in. Sometimes it's hard, I feel like if I get some little or scissors. I'll be able to get into these toes a little better. I think my scissors are too big, but I just slowly work at it. Try to get as much as I can. Out, stop. Take a little bit on the side here. These are pretty good. I'm just gonna show you what I did here. Here's your foot. Nice and round compared to the others. You can see her toenails, which is kind of what you want to do. This one, maybe here, we need to go put your foot down, miss. Miss she says her toenails are tickly. The up close and personal on the toes, you can see the difference between the two paws. You know, I'm just going to bring these around down. You got to just blend it all in with that nice cat paw there. That's a pretty good paw. Right? Might not be perfect, but it's pretty good. Yep. We'll keep working on it for a bit. And then you can see the back of her leg here. I'll probably try to straighten it a teeny bit more. I always get perfection mode. Some of this I will wait till after her bath. And then we can make it finished up nicer when it's all clean. And uh, I've blow dried it out and it's not all crazy in different spots of curly and things like that. But that's her front paw. All done. We'll do the other side and we'll do her back paw. We'll show you the back paw. Okay, we're going to start on Ember's back foot. It's going to be pretty much the same as the front foot. We're going to get all the fur out inside here. I'm going to trim around and then we're going to do a little bit different on the back of her foot. Here. I'm going to shave as what I can out. This is my 10 blade. I don't have a 30 blade. Um, I know a lot of groomers have that, that's so we'll take it right down, there'd be no hair left. Uh, so if that's what you're looking for, it's to do feet, you need to get the, the biggest number that takes the fur right off, which is usually a 30 blade. Or if you have one of those clippers that has the combs on it, I think the 30 is usually what's underneath. Sometimes I take a little bit, and when she's showing, I wouldn't do that, but right now for the snow in the summer, just shave a little bit off the back here. 
inside. Lots more hair coming out here, Missy. She may get cold feet this way, but it'll also keep her from the snowballs sticking in all the bad things. Her hair goes back pretty fast. In a week, she'll have enough hair to protect her from any snow or ice, but hopefully not get snowballs in it either, right? All right, the clippers away. I'm gonna take my scissors back and I'm just gonna do it around the edges here. The sides that I didn't do with the clippers. Good girl, careful. Thank you, good girl. Okay, I'm gonna fluff up the toes. This time I will stand up and I'll try to do them where you can see them. You could, right now, you can see some of the edges where you want to round it. So you can round it before or after or during or whenever around the outside of the foot. I'm just going to take a bit off here and then I'm going to get in with my mini scissors. Right. Okay. Off the camera. Great work. And I'm going to go on a downward angle and get these feet right here as much off as I can but if I leave it but it's okay because so I'm going to go in with my normal scissors my shears and I'm going to just round and take it off and shape the foot some more okay, so I'm going to back comb it brush it here with the slicker I'm going to go in I'm going to take some of this off here blend it around You can see better from this side, from the front. And take it around the edges. Sorry, love. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm just going to push under her toes, push it back, and try to trim right the nice line along there. This time I've taken it pretty short, so it's. Oops, sorry, babe. It's already kind of there. Get some more in here. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to do your hawk at the back there. I'm going to walk around the table again. So here, I'm going to use the slicker again. I'm going to fluff up back, maybe even take out the tail. Straighten it out here. Fluff her foot, see if I missed anything. We're going to do that at the same time. Her hair is blowing a lot since September or October when she last got groomed. It's gonna become a hairy beast like your like your guy. All right, I'm gonna pull this out. This is probably about right. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna make a curve down into her heel. And then I'm gonna push it up again. I do this as many times as it takes so I can get it the way I want it. I'm going to make it out into a straight. I'm also going to take it up. I don't know, you can't see real, but I'm just going to try to shorten this just a bit for snow and stuff like this. Just a, just right behind her little bop over here. Okay. I go to a dog show I do all of this and then I get there and I work some more they're never there's they're never perfect there's always something else you could do or something you see after a bath um, so you kind of just have to work at it and then be happy at what you get what you have left off at or you can fix it later I think I will come back to these once she's bad there's something going on here that I'm not so fond of but I think I need to trim her bum before I can get some of this Fixed here. That looks pretty good, Amber. All right, I'll come look at it one time from the other side. And then we'll probably be done her back. Try 
try to make it into a kind of a bell, not a full one. This is kind of a straight with a curve at the top, uh, but that's the best you can, that, that's kind of what you're aiming for. Um, another spot here when I'm looking at a foot, I'm gonna trim these hairs here just a little bit shorter so it's fuzzy when I lift them up. Take my scissors. I'm just gonna take the fuzz this is especially where it ever gets bleached in the summer. So if I just take a little bit off, it takes, brings out her nice auburny liver color again. You can also do a little bit here just to maybe a teeny. I don't want to do too much up there, just here, just a teeny bit. And there's her beautiful back, that's still dirty. There's a lot of hair in there, Amber. The beautiful back foot. Check that out here. We'll do a close up of that just a second. Okay, here's your back foot. Looks pretty good. I'm sure there's a few little bits I could take off. That looks pretty good. And here's our nice hog. I think I probably need to trim this little bit right here just down a teeny bit, but that's how it looks. All right, so we're going to start her rear and then we'll get to her other side. Okay, so here's Ember's rear. I said I'm going to finish some of it after, but I'm going to do a little bit right now. Ever stand. So I'm just going to take, it's very long in here. We've let this grow now. And it's very beautiful and gorgeous, but I'm just going to take, especially for the winter, just a little bit off. So what I do is I, I'm going to take a little bit, maybe this much off, just like that with my you know, Very long here. She doesn't need that much. That for there. Just take a bit off, and then we go back. You see where we're at? We're gonna take a little bit more off at the top, I think. Pull it out. I'm gonna get it down here by her heel again. I'll bring it out. Just do a teeny bit more. Just doing putting an even line. And I'll see how it falls. Looks pretty good. And I can take my thumb scissors and just make it the way I want to make it. I'm going to take a little bit off her heel here just a bit. I don't think my ember has ever been this long before. It was all new experience for us. Her hair has really decided to come in. So the same on this side. I haven't done her heel here, so it's pretty much point, but we'll take a little bit in here off, Not that much, and I'm going on a downwards line, so it's a little bit further at the top, and then longer at the bottom, do the same here, I'll take some of the scale, just do a little bit, and then I'm going to go into her foot, and do her foot, and then I'll come back like this, just when her foot is done. There. I need to do more in there, but I've got to fix this heel first. It's pretty even. I need to do in here. So it's going to wait, but I'll do a little bit right now. Let's take this down just a little bit. Blend it back into her fur. I think I'm going to take a little bit of long fur there, but I'm going to blend it in. It keeps when they go to the bathroom off their, off their bum a bit here. If they have diarrhea or something like that, it just helps keep it clean. Also going to back home a bit in here. I'm going to get just a little shorter in here. Always brush it down, see what I've done. I know it looks long. I will trim it a bit more, but because she's such a short tail, I just always leave her with a little kind of poof at the end. Um, I keep it from our show season, which we don't have now, but if I cut it all off and then we end up going to a show and she has no tail left, then tail hair left, then I'll be sorry. So and I just try to leave it with a bit. I will shape this some more, but looking good, girl. We need to fix your other foot so it matches. 
go. All right. Then we'll blend in. See some of the side here. You just got to shorten it just a little bit. Blend it into the tail. Like to crank her tail one way. The girl stuff. Sometimes it's hard to get this side to see because she's cranking it the other way. <laughs> No, it's not helping a single soul. No, we're shorting a little bit on the top of the back here to try to make her tail look longer. And just this here is very long hair, so we're just shorten it a bit. She does need some stripping done. I'm gonna wait and do that after the bath because I don't want to strip her too much. I want her to keep some extra hair for the winter. It does get cold here. Okay, that's it for now. I'll show you when the other feet are done. Okay, here's Ember with all her feet done. I worked in a little bit more on her bum. Here, got a back foot. Sorry, both front feet. All right, Amber, you're fine. Got a nice back foot over here. I need to do her side too. You can see she's too fluffy in here. Her head and neck are just a mess. But I did get this rear here. And up under her tail, looks nice. Her bum furnishings look very nice. They're put in so thick. Let's put this foot in a little bit. There. There we go. Here's Amber looking beautiful. So here's Cole, he's ready to get his Christmas room done. He's getting his groom so we can go and see Santa too. We're going to head and go to see Santa on Monday. It's a little late, but I have had too many grooming clients and things like that, so I haven't had a chance. I'm just busy with Christmas. Put Cole's little noose on here. Got Amber over there, laying in the dog bed. It's a messy basement, I'm very sorry. So Cole, I've already started. I've got his feet done. He's got snowballs, because there's so much snow here. He just came in from outside. I won't show you all of this now. Maybe when he dries, I can show you a bit more. So Cole's had his feet done. He has his nice feet here, and he's had a little bit of an underline. So I missed the underline in all my videos. Sadly, I didn't have my camera when I was doing Ember, and I missed some of her. Cole's had his tail done here. She saw an Ember in his rear. So we're going to strip his back a little bit more, and we're going to trim his head. We're going to do his ears and his neck kind of here. And then we're going to blend the back of his neck into the front of his neck. Nice little seamless room and then he'll be all ready to go and see Santa, right? You want to see Santa? Take some pictures with Santa again this year? So I'm going to start with Cole's head. <clears throat> the easiest way I find is to get them to sit and then they're in a nice stable position while I'm going to shave from about here upwards with my 10. Then I'm going to take the inside and shave all this fur out right here and here. Adjust to the flap to meet the top where I shaved on the other side. So just this long here, here. Then we're going to blend it into the face. Then we're going to use our 10 upwards through here. You'll notice he has a little round half moon right here. This is what we're going to try to mimic up through here. Take his whiskers. I like to get in their lips here. Cool hates this part. Where you take the 10 backwards and you get all this out so you can get some of the brown out and where food collects and stuff like that. And then the same over his whiskers. I'm going to leave um, his back and just undercoat to dry a little bit while I do that since he was just out playing in the snow. Okay, so I've got my clippers and I've got my 10 blade on. And then I'm gonna use my cool, this is called Cool Care by Andis, or there's one by Oster called Cool Loop. I'm gonna spray it on when I turn my clippers on, not on my dog, but it just helps keep your blades cool and uh, run smoothly. So I'm gonna open the inside of his ear. We could probably do this without a noose on. He doesn't even need it, He's such an old pro. Okay, so we're gonna open the inside of his ear. We're gonna take out all this stuff in here that is really bad for keeping their ears clean. Especially here with the snow, it's like the summer when they get hot. Now they're getting wet when they get out and they're playing in the snow. It's hard for you to see, but I'll do it this way a little. I'm just blending some of this in here. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit off here. Okay, also gonna take this right here. That's how long you are, go all that fur, wow. If I have a dog that comes, it's a spring or a spaniel or a cocker or whatever, it's really thick ears, Cole's not really thick. I will shave a little bit down the flap just to thin their ears out a bit, but he's fine, he doesn't need it. So now I'm just gonna take my, I'm gonna take my slicker here 
I'm just going to brush the hair out that came out. Stay, good boy. Hey, okay, stay. I know, but you're so good. Okay, now we're gonna do the top of his ear here, outside of his ear. Just gonna hold it and go up. Okay, so we're gonna get back to Cole's ear here. So I got behind it. I haven't got it all, I need to get right in here. Pull all. I want to get his nice long fur. Okay. A little misbehaving today. He doesn't love his ears being shaved, he says. He's better with feet in his back. Okay, but I gotta get a bit more through here. Okay, so there's Cole's ear. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna do another little brush, the long hair is off. Inside is nice and clean. More air infection is gonna come and plague you there, eh, Cole? I need to still get a little bit like right there. Just a teeny bit right there. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna take this line out right here with my covers. Okay, you're gonna see Cole's hated part. Cole hates getting his whiskers taken off. Do a little bit here, just sometimes they grow a little bit of like a cowlick up here. I'm gonna take off his little eyebrow hairs here. And do the rest of his whiskies. Leave the whiskers on. We prefer them off. Dogs are used to it. They're not doing scent. They're not trying to feel stuff outside. They're fine. They do not need whiskers. Cole, stay. This is what Cole hates. <laughs> You're going to show them your bad behavior, right? Eh? Yeah. You hate having your, your mouth down there, but it keeps it clean. Yeah. Right, I'm going to do his neck. Then I'll blend all of this sort of stuff in after that. I'll probably use my thinning scissors here a bit, and I use my my ten blade the opposite way here. I can go down his neck here, but he has a cowlick, so this is actually the shorter direction is down. And then we take him in here. Up. You can see he's got another little cowlick right here, so we're going to take it down. It'll take more hair off. Okay, so Cole's got both sides done here. I'm just trying to adjust the camera. You can see his neck under here is done. I've shaved, I've not blended anything in. His ears are done on both sides, outer and the in. I'm gonna show you a little bit how I do the cheeks here. I'm gonna take my clippers just a little bit more. I'm just gonna kind of bring it, all depends differently. It depends differently on each dog. Cole has widest cheeks, so I try to take his cheeks down a little bit here. He doesn't need this extra fur on his face here. That didn't work so well. But I just try to take the extra down with the clippers, and then I go in with my thinning scissors, or sometimes I have to go back and just shorten it a bit. Get these whiskers off the end of his nose. to blend this in smoothly to his neck. Okay, so I just blended it in smoothly here. I'm just gonna take, I took it a little bit short here and there's still a bit of long. I'm gonna gently with my thinning shears here. I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit. Try to get, a, sometimes fluff it. Don't wanna leave any clipper blade marks here much as I can get out. Be very careful by his face. Anything I didn't get, I can try it again with my clippers too. Let's go up the side of his little whiskers here. 
Good boy. That looks nice. Then the same on the top of his head here. We're going to blend in some of this here. We can have it a bit fluffier up here. We take a little bit off. White blaze, kind of define it a bit. Take the scraggly whites off. And we're going to blend it into his ear. And I'm going to back comb in a minute, and that will shorten some of this up too. But this is just right from the top, just blending it right in. Right, bud? There you can see that side. Looks pretty nice. Yeah. Ears blended right nicely into his face. Nice top of his head. I'm going to do the other side, and then I'll come back for the neck. So here I just use my slicker, and I put the hair the way I want it to go. I'm just going up in here, blending the top skin above his ear. I'm going to use my thinning scissors here with my comb and back comb there. You can still see a little bit of... I'll get that with the thinning scissors. Yeah, with the comb, yeah. There, I just blended this ear, the top of this ear in here. But now we need our comb. We're ready for the comb, eh, buddy? Yeah. So before I scissor Cole's neck, I'm going to just strip it a little bit. I'm going to get him to sit again. So I'm going to take my Mars Coat King. I'm just going to go down through his neck here. See how much hair I can get out before I trim it off. Right into his shoulders. That was a pretty good portion. Even down here. I'm not going to go through his big fluff, but I'm going to go down his, to his elbow there. Do that on both sides. It itches, eh? When I do that, yeah, I know. He's so brave. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line right here. I'm going to hit my scissors upside down. I'm going to go down it. And I can get the little bits that are overhanging. I start off by that, blending those right in. Sometimes I have to go this way a bit, but this I think I'll have to use with the... On my back home, but I can get some of this here. Right in down here. So I'm going to take him here. I'm going to go up. So that I'm going to do that all the way along the edge here. Sometimes I'll tilt it in a little bit so that you can have a gradual effect. So it's shorter by his neck and a little bit more, like by here and a little bit longer on here. Good boy, tilt your head. Right, and then I'm going to come around and I'm going to get his back up. Just... Okay, I'm going to back home like this. We're going to bring it up. I'm going to just get the top part first. We're going to try to get this short up here, right up to the top of his head. Above his ear here. I can see I'm not able to get it with the scissors, so I'll just have to blend it in my hand here. Take a little bit off the top of his head. Up his neck here. I'm going to blend a bit more in here. I can get it better from this angle. I'm going to blend it in from low enough. I don't want to take too much off. I find these scissors cut more than my older ones, and I'm not quite... I think I took Ember's neck a little bit shorter than I usually like to, just because I'm not used to they cut so much off. So as you can see, this is pretty much blending right into his ear here, under his ear. Can't see where the shaving begins and the neck nicely meets it in here. I'll do the same on his back. His back is looking pretty good here. His neck, if I turn it, it's almost pretty much blended in here. Cole is naturally more curly than ever. He's not super curly because he's a black coat, but he has a few more just natural waves than she does. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna finish this on the other side and then I'm gonna show you Cole's finished product of his neck. I probably, as I'm going here, I will use my Mars Coke King again and just give it an extra little, see if there's a spot that's super thick that needs this or needs to be scissors. Good boy, looking handsome. All right, here's Cole. He's got his neck done. He's looking very handsome right now. Here is his side. I think I need to take a team bit more off there, but it's looking pretty good. It's nice and smooth down here. The ear meets his head. This side over here, the same thing, his cheek. Under his neck here. Looking pretty good, eh, Cole? With this side here. Sometimes the hair just lies smoother on some side. I'm gonna clean the table up here and then we'll show you a finish. Cool, maybe we'll do a little bit on his back. Um, if everyone wants a full back coat stripping and scissoring video, I will be happy to do that. But this one, we're just kind of getting an overview. All right, so here's Ember after her haircut. She had her neck done like cool. So you can see it's shaved underneath and it meets nicely into her neck here. Down to her leg. She's been in the snow too and gotten lots of snowballs. You look like you're growing some of your whiskeys back. Already, it's only been a few days. We'll do a little touch up in a minute. Then it blends nicely into her nice back coat here. Look how glossy and smooth she is. She's got a few more waves. I think her coat is coming in, her winter coat. She's thicker and she's glossier. She's got more furnishings on her stomach and her legs are thicker. And even her rear hair here is coming in nice and thick. She looks good, her little feet here. Nice bell shape at the back. And this is our Ember. Right, you and Cole got to pose with your Santa outfits on. Go and see Santa tomorrow. We're going to see Santa on oh, Monday. Sorry, not tomorrow, the next day. Yeah, we're going to show them Santa. Hey, Cole, you want more cookies? Cole's all happy he's done. You're happy you're done too? All right. Thanks for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. Stay tuned for a video with Ember and Cole visiting Santa. But this is their grooming video, Christmas grooming video. And if you guys have any more comments, or you'd like any me using certain tools or whatever, doing a certain area of the dog, I would be happy to do that and um, post any more videos. Take care. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.